Good evening, traders. Good evening, Philippines. Today is Friday, and I thought it was Thursday. Friday, June 18th, and before I begin, here is the usual disclaimer. Any comments made during this live stream should not be taken as an order to enter trades. I do not provide any type of signal services. Uh, this live stream is strictly for educational purposes only to illustrate how I trade the legacy strategy that I teach my students. Any past performance of the legacy strategy is not, uh, is not um, indicative of future results. I must, uh, I must also emphasize that I'm neither a licensed nor professional trading advisor. I am a retail trader like mostly all of the traders that's basically um, um, viewing this. So with that said, again, we're end of the end of the week and usually sometimes it's really the market behaves weird during the end of the week. So um, looking at this, you see we had a big drop off during the overnight session prior to the opening. You can see there, right? Just scroll it all over. Look at that big drop off. I was unable to enter the trade there. I was I had a coaching session. I actually had one trade before the opening, which is right here. You'll see right here, right here to here. I'm done. That's five points, two contracts. That's done with 500 bucks. So I'm pretty much done my goal but if i see a nice high probability setup then i'll probably ent enter it but right now i'm at sitting with the 500 I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much done reaching my daily profit goal um but like i said if something uh basically speaks to me i might consider it but we'll see um if I do that, I'd probably do it for maybe one contract to be to tell you the truth. In fact, that's what I'm trying to do. So since I reached my goal, I will adjust this to one contract. I don't want to be risking too much and giving all the way back. So where's that one contract? And there it is. Okay, so right now, as you can see, we are below the ETH VWAP and we are sitting right now, right now. Now we're technically above the RTH VWAP, so we're in between the two. Again, there's a, a, a considerable size gap between the two VWAPs. So therefore, what, what's going to do? Price will intent will will tend to now go towards the other VWAP. In this case, the ETH VWAP to basically close the gap. Eventually, at, during the whole day, this gap will be to the point where it's no longer a significant distance. Either one would be on top of each other, both the ETH and the RTH VWAP. But in the meantime, right now in the opening, there's some gap there, so it's gonna try to close it. So what I'm trying to do here is maybe look for an entry, which is actually uh, might probably really set up right now as the deviation levels for the RTH session is uh, establishing establishing itself. So now we see we get down to the most uh, in the minus two deviation went down right here, right? So at the same time, it went to maybe plus three deviation on the other side. Well, it actually reached the minus three here as well. So basically it went to the plus three. So now we're going between here, between this is around minus two and uh, two and say 2.25 and also correspond the same way so that's what it's doing right now trying to settle in trying to determine what direction but like i said it's going to try to close the gap but as you can see here we're getting what we're getting lower highs and higher lows so basically we're in a wedge all right right we're more like a wedge going on right there as well as this one right here, right? More like a wedge going on. So we'll see what happens. Or it's gonna break. It's gonna break. We'll make our move then. But right now we're in a wedge. And I think I already saw where that move was right there. And bouncing off that uh, trend line, that wedge. Let's 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on mute. If you know exactly where I'm going to try to enter, right now it's trading within that wedge, as you can see. Uh, most of it might just uh, just gravitate toward that in a range, in a channel. And grind, and basically, that's what it is, consolidating right now. After, ha after having that big drop, we're now in consolidation right now. So we'll see what's going to happen here, what's going to break out, what's down to the downside, will it continue going down, or will it reverse and try to hit that ETH VWAP. Put this on mute, and we'll see what, we, what happens. So there, pretty much done for the day. Let me see if I can bring out my numbers here. It's the end of the week and I don't want to be too much into this market. Staying too much time in this market, so. Let me see if I can get my numbers here. Where is that? Again, I, Trade one contract was already hit my goal, right? Well, I said right here before the market opened, right? So I had 500, had a small lot, <coughs> excuse me, had a small loss of one contract, right? So I came back, got, and I thought I got, well, I did. So it was more than five points. If you see here, entry price for 80, exit price, a little over five points basically 5.25 now if i was trading two contracts that would have been over 500 another 500 would have put me over 1000 for the day but again i'm being conservative I made 700 which is good enough for me to